Hello, my fellow Lakers, Newcomers, and Pastor Bison. and welcome back to Scum. And today we have a patch, patch 0.497. This is just before the 0.5 patch. Um, there might be other patches before that. I mean, there might be 4.98, 4.910, which is, or 9, sorry, not 10, because 10 would be the 0.5 patch. Um, so there isn't a 0.5 patch today, so it's a 0.497 patch. Um, and they've added single doors to the game. You can see here's a single door. And then this is uh, the single door upgraded, and obviously the metal single door. So you no longer have to have the double doors, and you can have the single doors, which I've been waiting for single doors because sometimes it's really annoying to build double doors everywhere and trying to stop people from actually going inside the double doors. You know, it's more to like palisade the front of it. I don't know if you guys palisade the front of your doors. I do, but you know, whatever. Uh, they've also changed the locks. So different tier doors are going to have different number of locks. Um, so basically you'll have your lot, your, your lock section, which can go up to three and then your protection section, which can go up to two, which is where you put your zappers on there. And I don't know if they're going to have any other type of lock, lock protection in the future, but we'll see. So level one doors will have two, two slots for locks and one zapper, uh, level two doors will have two locks and two zappers. And then level three doors will have three locks and two zappers. And then all pre-built doors, including cabins. Cabin doors will have three slots and one slot zappers. By the way, pre-built doors are the houses, um, city houses and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, there's also some cargo changes. So there is now going to be a timer for cargoes. Uh, everything's going to be locked inside that cargo crate. And if you wait till the end, to the last 25 seconds, um, all lockers will unlock and you'll have 25 seconds to go in and get whatever you want. Otherwise, you're going to have to pick lock it. Um... So yeah, so you have you have quite a bit of time to actually go in there. Uh, it looks like right here it says 16 minutes and 27 seconds. That's a lot of time. So you could also break the lock, but if you break the lock, or yeah, 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 you could break the lock with a crowbar. Um, but if you do break a lock in the crowbar with a crowbar, by the way, you could do this in police stations, inside bunkers, and cargo drops. Um, then basically you could break something inside. This is all based to, based on strength and thievery skill. By the way. So if they are too low, you can still get it open. It's just going to take a bit longer. Um, and also the noise. So yeah, it's going to be very noisy doing that. But yeah, I, th I think they might actually add another way where you can actually... Uh, it would be cool, anyways, if they added another way where you could actually do other things to break locks. Um, maybe even add a laser cutter to the game. That would be pretty goddamn cool. And oh, Jesus, can you imagine a laser cutter, but like strong, strong locks? That'd be amazing. Um, there's also some improvements here. Uh, they fixed the wells. Yeah, so you can no longer get infinite well water. It's now finite. Um, and you can refill. They will refill over time. And you can check the amount by holding F and pressing the check function. And this includes water bottles and soda bottles um, and everything else. And you can also transfer, you know, liquids between each bottle. So that's kind of cool. So you can always, you know, put water inside of a soda bottle, blah, 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 blah. And then you have also a spill function, a check function, and blah, blah, blah. Cool, 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 cool stuff. As you can see here, it says check, new, and spill, new. Pretty cool. Uh, they also have squad locks. Oh, yeah. Squad locks. So no more, you know, letting a new person in. He like totally destroying everything that you have. You can do this to both chests and vehicles. Oh yeah, pretty darn cool. So you can set certain permissions for these uh, vehicles and chests depending on someone's squad rank, or you can put it as private for just you. And um, the ranks are going to be boss, underboss, enforcer, and member. Underboss will allow only him and the boss. And boss rank and then member will allow all members, of course. Um, and obviously, the person who places the locks on there will always have access on it. So, you know. They've also added two new more attachments. The Car 98 silencer, it looks like. And the M1-1891. Sorry, suppressor. They're not silencers, they're suppressors. That's the, that's the real name for them is suppressors. So we'll just call them suppressors. Pretty cool stuff. Um, we got some bug fixes, bug fixes here. Um, we have destroying foundations near walls and frames. Um, it will destroy them as well. That's now fixed. 
uh, they fixed where bugs where it was possible to build floating platforms. That tends to be a big thing. Uh, fixed a bug where buried traps would sometimes show wrong materials. They fixed a bug where it's possible to arm traps while still in the inventory. Uh, fixed a bug where it's possible to pick lock interactions, uh, even though it should not be possible. Uh, fixed a bug where wardrobe name would disappear after lock picking. Uh, the bug where you could not fix construction boots, the bug where you cannot sharpen cleavers, the bug where wear cutters were not repairable, um, the bug where large items in hand would clip through vehicles while entering and exiting, the bug where holster weapons should be visible after swapping them while in vehicle. A second hiccups here. Uh, the bug where graphic presets and dynamic, ooh, and dynamic shadows quality not showing correct values, um, and they were not properly, even though they were properly applied. Uh, fix the bug where hitting players with cut off arms would not produce correct sound, and then uh, multiple little fixes. By the way, yeah, you can pick up cut off arms and hit people with it. It's pretty cool. Uh, they also added some quality of life additions. Um, and by the way, by the way, let me get through these because the next thing is gonna blow your guys' mind. Um, Modify glove pressure stats when lock picking. That's been modified. M9 bayonets now deal damage, insignificant damage to blueprint elements. Um, reduce damage to arrows and bolts. Uh, how much they actually do to players. Kind of sucks, but you know, whatever. They're arrows. Uh, display the ability to place blueprint elements on pre-constructed hunting towers. Uh, so yeah, basically no more hunting tower buildings. Uh, major improvement in optimization concerning the amounts of items around players. Returning from a game event will now restore the player's stance that was active before the event. So you can crouch, you return crouched. Pretty cool. You no longer return standing up. So if you ever get into a hairy situation where you're actually in a very tough spot, and uh, I mean, you really should not do this, and this shouldn't be possible. But say you're in combat and you decide to go into an event and you're crouched and you're hiding, but you're in combat, but you're hiding. Um, you go into you go into the event and say they see you go into the event. You they, they go into the event too. Come back. You're not just gonna stand up when you come back. Um, or say maybe you're hiding from a mech. You know, pretty cool, pretty good, good information right there. Uh, they just the max contained weight of long sheds and tractors, so uh, you might be able to you know put more logs in a long shed and tractor log shed and tractor that'd be pretty cool vehicles should no longer decay in single player and replace the rusty lock with iron lock yeah i think that's pretty cool so now you have iron silver and gold makes sense right very 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 much so um now these are the really cool things they've allowed allowed admins to actually make bigger safe zones you can and you can put them wherever you want you can put them literally wherever you want you can make them whatever size you want so you can actually have pve servers where you actually have safe zones and pvp areas so for all of you people who are complaining about the game not being are being too pvp orient or orientated um first off it is only early access and you know i'll do a separate video about talking about this if this game's whether a pvp game or if this game's a pve games but now now it's up to the admins so if you want a more pve server yeah, there you go there you go no, you don't even have to have rules anymore because now you can run around and you can go loot bunkers and stuff like that and just kill zombies all day long with your buddies without having worry, nah, without worrying about having to be shot by other players. Unless you're in a PvP zone and then you're kind of screwed. And that's kind of your fault. Um, and then obviously you have the original uh, PvE zones here. So... They will basically allow you to uh, make them as big as you want and everything like that. And, and this is the cool thing too. Okay, so say you wanted to have a uh, primitive server where there's only bows and arrows, right? Guess what? Guess what? You can now, admins have now the ability to take damages that can be blocked or allowed. So basically boxing damage you don't want on the box. You don't want damage from boxing. Boom. Done. Any type of projectile damage. You don't want projectile damage. Done. No damage. Um, explosive damage, meaning uh vehicle explosions suicide puppet explosions mine explosions you don't want mines on the server done you just took mines off the server no no longer even a problem so like yeah awesome um which i wouldn't recommend by the way i love mines on a server i love pvp um also damage to bases you don't want people to damage bases done damage to vehicles don't want damage to vehicles done like it's, it's, it's just amazing. Amazing. Melee weapon damage. You don't want people running around hitting people with hammers. Done. It's 
that, that's just amazing stuff, guys. So it's and you can set up each zone differently too. All right, so this could be like a zone, like 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 so you could take a zone, and then within that that safe zone you have, you could be like, okay, I want this to be a totally melee weapon zone. You can like kill people with melee weapons, no guns or anything else. Boom, done. Even though it's a PVE zone, it's you know you could do that. That's that's pretty cool. That's that's a lot of power. So so now. Now, and by the way, that's actually all. So if you guys want to go ahead and move on, um, but if you want to listen to me rant, rant for a little bit about this, because this is, I'm going to tell you what you guys can actually do with this, okay? Now you can have servers, kind of like Rust, okay? Where you can, not only can you make the map smaller to bring more people together into a one, one concentrated area, but now you can also put safe zones and you can actually have traders within those safe zones because those will be the only zones where things so imagine if those servers that have bots now they can just have a bot that sits in one area they only do with one sector and you have to be within that sector or within that circle in order to actually trade isn't that amazing that's completely amazing or you can trade with other players that's that's so bizarre it's it's it's, it's amazing and say you want to have a primitive server right so you can bring everyone together right you can have only four quadrants and then within those four quadrants, you can go ahead and you can have bunkers and stuff like that. You can have them build bases and they can build up, even um, build up if they wanted to, whatever, right? And then within those four quadrants, you can have one tiny little safe zone and you can, or, or you can have a safe zone for the entire quadrant, but it's not really a safe zone. You just take out, you take out all projectile damage, all, or, you know, gun damage, basically. You basically only have bows and arrows, right? You can make it, it's basically only bows and arrows. No bombs. Um, you can't damage the bases, so you can probably build bases, or you can just take base building out. I'm pretty sure that that's, that was added a while back ago. Um, there's so many things you can do. Like, so many things you could do. You can have arenas. You can have first-person shooters in this game now. Like, seriously, you can make this game whatever you want it to be right now with the amount of stuff the admins have allowed you to do. But you don't see servers out there doing that, and I kind of find that sad. The only server that I've actually seen actually limit the map and make it smaller so more people actually come in contact is... Uh, what was his name? Um, not Raykit. Ray I, I wish Raykit would actually do a server like that, but he... I don't know if you will or not. Please, Raykit, if you see this video... I would really love you to do that. Um, what is it? What is it? What is it? Was it? Was it? Not scraw, 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 scraw army. He calls it the scraw army. I forgot what it is. But that guy, that guy who who says scraw army all the time. Yeah, that that guy has a server like that. He's the only one, only one smart enough to do that. I would do that, but I have zero cash on me to do so. You know, I can't even get my thirty ninety in my computer. So, yeah. That, that would be awesome. Sorry. I, I had to have that little rant. It's the coolest thing in the world. Um, but yeah, that is actually all it for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy your day. Get ready for 0.5. It's coming every day closer and closer and closer. And uh, I am out.